just say you could just say the thing that you want to say. You ain't got to clean it up. Oh man, welcome to the opinionated. Hey, welcome to opinionated family. We are here for another episode of opinionated podcast. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Today we have an episode, a great episode. We're gonna do man five ways social media can ruin your relationship. Word. Five ways, man. And the five ways they can ruin your shit is um, it's comparison, comparing your relationship to other people in there, oversharing, uh, cyber cheating. Mm. Uh, you hate running through your girl's phone and your dude's phone, find that. Increased jealousy, which is basically you probably she's posting pics or he's posting pics and you like, you know, stop sharing my shit. You know, showing my shit on there and public fights. I don't know why people do that shit all the time. That shit yeah, kills me. Like, I don't know why you want everybody to know your fucking business. But I like to see it. I like to see it. I like scrolling through the comments, man. But listen, we're going to start off with comparison, man. A lot of people see on, um, what, you know, that have social media, you go through social media, you see the famous people or the social media couples always posting the glamorous pics, you know, they holding each other. They got the, you know, she got the Gucci robe. He got the Gucci robe on and he hits you with that stupid ass line. Oh, my girl ain't got to pay no bills in the crib. I pay for everything. You paint quite a picture. No, nah, because I, I know niggas <laughs> like that. We see it all the time. Like, listen, it's cool. You can afford to do that. You can afford probably to take care of the whole entire household. Yeah, there are men who out there that, who does it. There are men out there who who takes 80 and his wife takes 20. There's 60, 40, and there are 50, 50s. Don't get it twisted. And if a dude is on hard times, maybe the roles is reversed until he get back on his feet and it's back to 50, 50, or he try to take on the whole thing. Yeah. But the comparison shit, I don't understand. Like, bro, why do people always see that shit and try to compare themselves it's human nature. Human nature makes it so that you're going to see other people. So before there was social media, and I'll bring it back to social media. Before there was social media, there was your cousins. Before there was social media, there was, you know, the the couple that your mom always talks about or your aunt always talks about. Oh, you know, cousin Jer- cousin Jeremy, you know, yeah, they going to um they going to Egypt this year for vacation. Damn, why ain't we going to Egypt? It's just human nature. Social media just brought it right to your damn phone and right to your eyes every single day. And what is social media? A highlight reel. Yeah. Ain't nobody posting bad shit on there. Well, we'll get to that later. Hmm. Ain't nobody posting bad shit on there. They ain't posting the, the bad shit about their relationship. Me and my wife argue here and there. You think I go to this Facebook and be like, yo, <laughs> she crying again. You know what I'm saying? No. You only see the good stuff. Relationships goal. I done pissed her off again. What's up? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> relationship goals. Fuck out of here. Yeah, man. I, I, listen, bro. I see it all the time. Motherfuckers on there with the matching Jordans or the matching outfits or uh, all this shit. <laughs> it's some people that have some people that you see on there that you can like. You can honestly believe like look, they look like they have a good relationship. Then there's some people you look at on there and like. Pfft, these niggas is about to take this picture. They just took this picture after they got done fighting, or these motherfuckers is about to fight. <laughs> like, I, like I personally know stories of motherfuckers taking, and I don't know these motherfuckers too well, too often. But I just heard from other people they go in there, post the relationship goals, and them flossing and all this shit. And he got a whole another chick on the side. She got a whole another dude on the side. Like, they shit is just a. Comp- Complete fraud, like, a and but a picture, a video is just a video. But people at home, like, like, like your girl at home, going to scrolling through shit and and seeing all this shit, like, why we ain't doing this? Why we ain't doing that? And, and you comparing yourself to these fucking people, it's like, yo, um, maybe I, we not doing that because we got six fucking kids to take care of, and you know. They're not suffering. There's food in the house. They wear, not, wear nice clothes. You know, all the bills is paid. Everything's good. It's like, yeah, we we yeah, we yeah, might not be on a private island right now or, or, or on vacation. Uh, we can't afford that right now because, you know, we have to save up. 
Like you don't know how old these pictures are. These pictures can these motherfuckers can have them pic- their pictures on their phone of them on a private island, the same island, and post these shits over a span of a year at different points of the year. Like they're fucking visiting somewhere new every day. Some people, some people just don't post all their photos at once. I still got photos in my phone that I ain't posted. I might feel the need to post an- another day. Just to be, you know, I'm not traveling there right now, but I, I'm just posting it. I, I also like to speak to um, the comparisons brought on by expectations. Okay, so we all know about people who were single for a long time. And the one thing I notice about some of those people is that they might look at social media and think that that's the way a relationship is supposed to be. He's supposed to buy me Jordans. He's supposed to lay the rose petals out on the bed every time we, you know, every time we, every Valentine's Day or whatever. He's supposed to come home and pay all the bills and and all this craziness that that people talk about. Some people have those expectations based on social media from them being single and they only see the good part and they think like that's, that's a thing. So they come into relationships expecting that as well. Which then give them gets them diving deeper into social media, saying, "Well, what else are they doing? What is he not doing? Or what else are they doing? What is she not doing?" Niggas talk about what women want. Yo, what men want with that expectation shit? Yeah, is is I ain't gonna say it's worse, but it's just as bad. Nah. What, what nah. we expect? What we expect? Let me tell you what we expect. Nah. Not us, but people. They expect that perfect bodied woman that perfect bodied woman she go to the gym every day she know how to do them squats she know how to do them thrusts she know how to do the motherfucking lunges that ass just looking perfect never a bad day she don't even look bad when she take her makeup off or her hair ain't done perfect woman also this woman she come home with the bag she go out and get that money. She come home with that. These are the crazy things that men are expecting as well. Crazy shit. Nah, 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 now, that's because like you see now the because of the, how the women are coming. A lot of younger girls in their in their in their twenties and their, you know what I mean early fucking early early thirties is like they watching this shit on social media. I seen the video dude was like he had this girl he paid. She's like you paying all the fucking bills and. She's spazzing this nigga. He's like, we riding around this fucked up ass car. Looks like a new car. Ain't no fucking hell cat. Yeah, my hair, my nails done, but we're like, we ain't fucking balling to the. Like, you see, you don't realize the people that probably took that picture in that hell cat with this girl and her nails done in this Gucci bag. The hell cat's probably rented. It's probably the only Gucci bag she owns. You know what I mean? They probably went to, I hate to say this, but you know, because Dre lives down there, probably went to Miami. Yeah. Went to Miami, you know what I mean? Now that I realize what Dre's telling me is no more than a fucking fifty dollar flight for a weekend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I stay in a raggedy ass motel, but is but is pulling up to these fucking nice hotels to take pictures in in front of and shit like they're there. You know what I mean? Like I mean, they're staying the there. Universe, you know, there's people who do that stuff though, the, who actually do the stuff. I don't want oh. you to say that everybody. Oh no, faking. I ain't gonna say everybody gonna don't be say, faking. Nah, some people faking, and and people who do do that that are balling like that. Yo, um, like you said, Dre, if I'm a dude and I'm balling like that, and I'm making sure my girl is taking care of, she don't got to pay for nothing. Yo, I expect you to be bodied out. I expect you to know how to get a bag or getting some type of bag. I expect you not to be on social media and showing everything I like. You can show it to a point, but not everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You That's can a good wear point. The, you can wear the tight fitting dress. You can wear that, but don't be wearing no fishnet and your nipples out. You know what I'm saying? Or no thong and your ass, your whole ass is out like. I'm paying for that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, if you want everybody else to pay for that, you can go. I'll kick you to the fucking side. And when I meet the next chicken, though, I, if I want to splurge on her like that, I could give her a list of, hey, this is what I expect of you. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't have to worry about the goddamn thing, but look at cute. <laughs> but, you, know, you know why people have been doing that for years? 
let me say, let me say, let me not say white people. Rich white people have been doing that for years, where like they do all the shit. Meaning, it's understood in their homes, and I've I'm only saying this because I've been in their homes. It's understood. I go out and make all this money as a man. I go out and do that. Right. You ain't got to worry about no bills. You can pay them, but I'll go make the money to pay them. I'll go make the money for you. Get whatever you want. That's my job. The one thing I better come home to is you looking damn good. Mm -hmm. Damn good. That's the one thing I expect. Keep your ass in the gym. (laughs) It's, it's almost like it's, it's written into it. And I say that because like I said, I used to be in these people's homes. I come there and the husband's not there. Big ass house, mansion, right? Husband's not there or he's in the home office, right? Know what that wife doing? Getting her gym bag, her yoga bag together and either leaving or there's a yoga studio or a workout joint in the house. They don't play about that shit, bro. They don't play. But see, with that also, that that comes with you will you will be replaced. You get old. His money might stay the same forever. <clears throat> you get the age and you get the crack. There's some chinks in your armor. Oh, he's going for the next one that used to look like you that he could promise the same thing to. And you probably out the crib. Yeah, wait till the kids get old enough where he ain't got to pay you shit. And he ain't moving the fuck on. Maybe you probably sign a prenup. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> I mean, a lot of niggas are just family men, though. <laughs> like, nah, man, they are. But you always, <laughs> you always hear the horror stories. A lot of horror stories. My girl be watching them. Uh, what's the shows called? Them fucking fatal shows. They be killing people and shit. It's always snapped. Yeah, I, I hate to say it, it's always white people. Y'all don't never see. Listen, y'all talk about black. Y'all talk about black on black crime, but y'all niggas got a whole TV show dedicated to y'all. But enough about that. But I'm saying, you always see it. Like, damn. Either the wife kills the, the rich husband or the rich husband has her killed off for a newer joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying, but like, but back to what we were saying, all this comparing shit, like people, you stop comparing, you know, your relationship, you know what I mean? What you see in a relationship, because that leads to the next thing, which y'all always do, which is, is oversharing. It's like, you know what I mean? Some people like people like that overshare too much, put too much of their shit on social media. Um, you know what I mean? You don't have they don't have that privacy of their relationship. Everything's ex- exposed. And, and trust me, we know people like that. Like, damn, like you see this dude, and it's usually dude, you see a dude, he looks like a fucking nervous wreck. His girl's chipper, she cool, but he looks like a nervous wreck because you know you know y'all know everything about his relationship. Mm. Uh like this nigga, he really gonna he really gonna fucking only last uh five minutes tonight. He knew I was horny. Like I guess I gotta finish myself. I seen that. Don't say we haven't. I have not. Please enlighten me. Okay, Dre. It was it, it was a it was a relationship where motherfucker was putting everything on social media. Person putting everything about their whole relationship on social media. You looking like nigga, like. That's why are you saying this on social media? Like, he then said he only lasted five minutes tonight. I guess I'm gonna have to finish myself off. That's insane. Or, or, uh, he better leave dog, or you know, leave her. I hope he ready, like, or I hope he ready for this and got a picture of her. I go be ready for this tonight. And it's like, this picture's like, yo, bitch, you just exposed yourself on here. Not completely, but enough. Leave her, whoever that is, leave her, bro. She is, she's that's the type that if you do something wrong, she'll fucking take your ass to court and clean you the fuck out. Like, she, like that type of personality for a person to share every single thing going on in your relationship that's dangerous. Well, it's some people doing unconsciously, they'd be like, put on there, oh, my man just lost his job, pray that he finds another one soon. Like, yo, that's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. As a man to lose your job. Yeah. It's even more fucked up now. Now everybody knows, oh, well, tell him I got a job here. And it's always another nigga. I got a job here for him if he want. It's like, yo, I understand you looking out for me, but. Nah. No. Stays home. No. 
Um, so I'm I'm blessed right now. I have a person, and I believe you do too, yeah. who basically does not even they don't use social media for posting. They use it for watching people. They don't use it for posting. Erica does not use social media for posting. Period. She just watches other people. That's a good thing. Because don't nobody never know our motherfucking business. Mm. Only our close friends, if if there's anything. You motherfucker will not know because we go by old school rules. Old school rules, even if social media didn't exist, so we don't go around talking. I don't, I don't let nobody else in my relationship. That means my mom. That means her mom. That means her sister, my brother, anybody. I don't let niggas into my relationship. Ever. And other niggas need to do the same shit. The only people in your relationship is y'all too. And if you got kids, y'all kids. Actually, y'all too. That's it. Yeah. Nothing. Nobody else. You, you, her, and God. You, her, and God. There you go. That's a better way to put it. If you letting other people in your relationship, I don't care if it's online. I don't care if it's in your family. Mm-hmm. You already fucked up. That's why I look at people when they be like, "Oh, I be, t- I told my sister that you said this, this, that, and the third, or, or niggas be telling it." I said, "This shit ain't gonna last." You shit ain't gonna last because you letting them influence what the fuck you do with your with your man or your woman. That ain't the way it's supposed to go, ever. It's just not the hierarchy. If they wrote a book about relationships, that wouldn't be in it. Nah, my my last relationship was like that. My ex, she she everything went on social media. I think she shared something on it. I can't remember what exactly what it was, and some nigga commented, mm. and I flipped out on the nigga. Oh. Uh, See, this is the type she don't want niggas that she don't want little du- young boys, young boys to act like this. I was like, yo, man, I'll fuck you up. That was my mindset, bro. I'll fuck you up if I ever see you. Oh, I ain't know I'm a grown man. I don't got time for that. I had to get the fuck off of here. But she shared something private mm-hmm. about our relationship that led a nigga to comment. And I'm calling up, I flipped on it. Like, I was like, at that point, I think I was like already at the end of our relationship. I already like had enough because it's been this whole her and social media was like hand in hand. Anything that went on in our relationship went on social media. Mm. Everything. Every little fucking thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm t- tired of figuring out what's going on in my relationship by opening up Facebook at the time. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, I This is asking you what's wrong all day. And I got to go on social media to find out, oh, this is what's wrong with you. I forgot this, or I forgot to mention that, or, you know, this, you need. It's like, I don't, what the fuck? Bitch, why am I in a relationship? I should be in a relationship with Facebook. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? That's never, ever going to be what a person should do. I'm so sorry. That shit is fucking crazy. Because it does leave room for people to give, because there's certain people who believe. I got a friend who believes this. If you put it on Facebook, it's for open discussion. I'm not a believer in that. To me, I'm on my business, which means like if a person puts up, yo, the sky is purple today or the sky is purple and you know it's blue, it's open for argument. Let's start arguing on your timeline. No, that's whatever you think is whatever you think, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to move on. But it also applies with relationships. Man, I can't stand this nigga. He always coming home late and he ain't never got no money. Cool. A person will get on your shit. Some people will say, yo, don't put this on Facebook. Other people will say, leave him, girl. Other Mm -hmm. people will say, that's why you got to find a better nigga than that. I'm better than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, It just leaves everything open for people to come in and just start giving you that validation because that's what people are doing it for yo they don't know a lot of people don't know they're doing it for it some people actually know they're doing it for it yeah. for validation outside of yourself you are putting your naked body on or your whatever body saying mm-hmm. oh he's gonna come home to this on social media for somebody to tell you you look good you are or to get a uh, get a whole bunch of likes you're not doing it because oh I just I'm proud of my body you're not doing it for that because if you were proud of your body and this all for him when he get home, then it would be for him, not for everybody else. Vice versa. I, vice versa. Yeah, I hate to bring these couples in there because I actually like I like the I like the person. I like Cardi B for some reason, but What's wrong like, with Cardi B? Nah, 
like her, like you ever see some of the pictures she sh- share on, on online? It's uh, yeah, mm. yeah, like right. Cardi B, yeah. <laughs> I mean, take off. He's just, you know, he's a he's a rapper, so he's like, I, I don't know if he don't care or he's like, you know what, fuck she, it. Like she was a stripper. Yeah, the, but not to say that should follow her everywhere, but I think she's more comfortable with with, with that. Plus, her she's been quiet on the music front. But go ahead. Yeah, so I'm wondering, like, because you know he's been called out there doing some, you know, <laughs> he's, I think he's been called out there cheating a few times and shit. Yeah, and and I wonder, like, does that him because his girls are exposing herself so much that would lead him to cheat? Because it's like, you know what, like, I understand which where you came from, and I understand you have an image to sell on social media, but you know, calm some of that shit down a little bit of the shit down, because you know what I mean. I don't think he cares. I, he probably don't, man. I don't. I hate to talk about the uh, them because I really like. I said, bro, I like Cardi B for some reason. I do. I heard her like how she came up and how she justify. Yeah, I'm just saying. I like her. I like her. Like I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna fraud. Okay. Like I don't like. You know what I mean? I like her. You know what I'm saying? She's a cool ass person. Like I heard her whole story how she came up and shit. My girl, you know, she watched the show. So she told me the whole background. I'm like, you know what? I could fuck with her. She didn't go on Love and Hip Hop. Looking for an old nigga to get her on. Like she kind of did it on her own and shit. You know what I mean? Just grinded. in the circle. She grinded. So yeah. that's why I respect her a lot and shit. I fuck with her a lot. But that, like, but you know, people, there's normal people that do that shit. Like, there's normal people who don't have a huge following that's like they put pictures up and you'd be like, and then they next quote is like, fuck this nigga. Da, da, da. It's like, yeah. all right, I just seen your whole ass on here. Yeah. You're welcome. What, yeah, what nigga you think is gonna be like? Oh yeah, I'm cool with that. Um, I think a lot of nigga. Yo, so so so, I also think that social media has changed the landscape of the way people navigate relationships too. Mm-hmm. So I do think there are people that are okay with that. That'll marry a girl like that. That'll also take it the distance too. So so here here's I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in perspective for you for me. Do so. All right. There's people that, because because right now that's that's either normal showing your ass or it's part of your job. It's part of what keeps you popping, mm-hmm. right? That's a thing now. It's a thing to pose in a, and not all of them are naked. Some of them got clothes on. A lot of them got clothes on. They just are very curvaceous or they're showing gym pics. And that's what keeps the people coming in. That's what gets them 100,000 followers, what gets them brand deals. Yo, it's a full on business. It is a full on business. Just like a man can be, you know, can work out for a living or or can do those things and show his body off and get brand deals and shit like that. That can be their job, right? Where I think the difference comes in when they get into relationships, if you let God in, you know, and I don't know if people want to hear that. If you let God in give it to him, and it goes the distance, you start understanding, okay, you know, people have done that. People have did a complete 180 and said, okay, that's not how I'm going to earn my money. But I did get my followers that way. But that's not how I'm going to earn my money no more. I am a wife. Mm-hmm. I am focused on my family. I am focused on my kids. And the only things I show on my social media is what I do with my kids. And look, I, I created a, um, I don't know, a, a, a kid clothing line. Like, you can do the 180. And I think a lot of times it's either once you let God in your relationship and understand what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Or you just understand how a wife is supposed to act or how a husband is supposed to act. And then you start acting accordingly. So, yo, it's a lot of niggas that did some shit in their twenties that turned that shit around. And that we know a lot of hoes Mm -hmm. who who fucked all through their teens and their twenties. And then they become this, they become a wife. And now, nah, nigga, I don't even know who you talking about. Who that person? I don't know who you talking about. (laughs) <laughs> all, all, all I say for that girl right there, if I was ever coming to your life, I'm single. Bring the old hoe back. Let me get some pussy one more time. Re- relive your past few minutes with me. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just like, <laughs> oh, all right. You know, I'm just fucking around. I'm just bring joking. Back. Yeah, bring that old motherfucker back. I don't like this new nigga. You baby. try try this holier than now motherfucker. In the next nigga. No. I don't want that. No, you should just, you should always strive to be a better person. Yeah. No matter what you do. I don't care if you're a hoe. I don't care if you're a porn star 
or a porn, excuse me, a porn actress, porn actor. If you're striving to be a better person and being a good husband, being a good wife is part of that. Being a, a, a God fearing person is part of that. Then that's what you do. So people can change. Well, that leads to another topic about sharing your body, motherfucker. It's the cyber cheating. Whew. See, what happens when, and it, say if you don't change your life over, and you don't convert, and you keep going, and you keep showing your body and everything like that, next thing you know, you let these people come in your, you know, your inbox, and they slide in your DMs, and, and, and they saying some shit you liking, and, you know, She's like, you know what? I'm gonna entertain this shit. See how far it goes. Mm -hmm. A good, a good. What's that nigga name? The Jacks guy. He was a social media influence. Always play. I don't know that nigga name. Always play Kate Jackson. Something, whatever. He's always play. Oh yeah, I only heard of him when that happened. Yeah, he's always play Kate the women. Always the men are bad, and and if you cheat, you're a piece of shit. Just shitting on niggas. Just bomb bombing on this every time he got a chance. Just bombing on this. Making out how he's just wholesome dude and all that, and you know what? He got a bunch of bitches panties moist, and he's probably in his inbox at first asking for advice and, and, and ways to help him out, and then a couple of them start telling their problems, and maybe it was one that was really bad that was just breaking down everything, and he's steady shitting on his nit the dude she with, and he she hearing everything he she wants to hear, and next thing you know, she offers the nigga some pussy, and he takes it. Nah, the motherfucker is no better than us because he's a married man. And he, but he, while he's having his whole second life going, he's steady shitting on us. Steady shitting on us. This whole time, this nigga cheating. Now he, now, now, now it's like, I want to explain myself. Nah, nigga, you was out there fucking around just like us. Everybody gets caught up in on social media. You make this you make this personification that you make this persona to everybody that you're this this muscle bound dude or this perfect perfect chick and you all this and people slide in your inbox and then the right one slides in your inbox you're interested in. Next thing you know, you're giving this motherfucker some pussy, you're giving him some dick, whatever, you know. Speak I'm about to go that. in. Go ahead, bro. I'm listening. I'm gonna sit back and listen. So I think the whole thing with relationships in general is no one's perfect. Social media gives you the illusion that things are perfect. They give you the illusion that things are perfect and a person is above temptation. So if I build a business, because that's really what happened with that dude, um, is that his business was built on shitting on men and down talking men. That was his business. I don't know. I never knew the nigga. Never heard of him before. Never heard of him after. Real shit. Mm -hmm. Only when it happened, it was like, oh, what was his name Derek Jackson or some shit like that. Or yeah. Jackson, Jackson Hewitt. Some crazy bullshit. What it seemed like to me is this is my business. My social media is my business. I tell, I tell women how to pick the right man, or I now. What a person also has to admit to themselves is temptation comes for everybody and temptation comes. I have a friend that that recently went through this, that temptation came for him. It came for him. A person who never thought this type of temptation would come for him. Ever thought. And it came. You're not perfect. Right. Okay. You're not perfect. No one's perfect. Nobody. You could try to be perfect, but no one is actually perfect. People make mistakes. Okay, I'm not shooting this dude any bail. I'm just saying like when you look at social media, you think that that person is perfect and you should be perfect and everybody's perfect. No, you just have to guard yourself on temptations. You just have to guard yourself because guess what? That right motherfucker could slide in any of our DMs. Mm -hmm. That right motherfucker. And I always say the the worst thing you can do the worst thing you can do is even con- even continue reading the shit a bitch hit my dm you know what i'm doing i might read it i'm gonna delete it immediately and i'm a blocker you know why i'm a person i'm a human being i'm not perfect it shouldn't even get as far as us talking but that is the perfect answer and not everybody's going to abide by that Okay, back in the day, I would tell people, 
yo, the reason why I didn't cheat at the time, you know what I mean? I didn't cheat or anything is because I never got to that bitch's house. Yeah. I never talked to that bitch on the phone. She called me. We never got, we never got da, 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 none of that. You stop it at the, you stop it at the, you know what I'm saying? You stop it right there. So it's just, it's just the error in judgment. All right. I'm rambling, but I'm going to bring it back home. It's an error in judgment when you get on the social media sites and people getting your DM error in judgment, not stopping it at the source. Cause the truth is we are all human. Mm. Let me tell you how we are designed. Hey, pretty lady, you come up to me. You want to fuck me? I'm a man. Damn, you looking good. I want to fuck you too. I just know I shouldn't. Right? So when you only acting on your human side, <laughs> you're going to do the wrong, you're going to do the wrong <clears throat> thing. Nine <clears throat> times out of 10, you're going to do the wrong thing if you let it get that far. But that's all I have. Now, listen, bro. And not to totally shit on him, but I don't like that dude, so I shit on him. But <laughs> go ahead. I, listen, I've been in, I've been at fault for the whole social media, you know, pitfalls and falling for the hey big head inbox or the motherfucker liking your pics too hard. I listen, bro. I can't even fault and say I never did it because see what social media is like. Before social media, let me explain something to you, the younger generation. Before social media, only way people get in contact with you, either they physically had to see you. Or physically have your phone number to your house or your cell phone at the time. There was no other way of saying finding this person out. You were bumping to these people out of a blue. You might bump into an old ex or mm -hmm. old fling or somebody you had a crush on out of the blue. You just happen to be in the same area at the yeah. same time and you bump into each other. Mm -hmm. That made it harder to cheat because it's like, I got to physically give this person my number. I got to be looking out for their phone calls and I have to answer it and I have to be willing to meet up with them to continue this conversation if I can't have it over the phone. But let's keep let's meet up here again. Like, it's good to see. You. Let's meet up here again at five o'clock. You know, yeah. such such time. let's go back out here. You know, I'm kind of in a relationship is falling through. But you know what? I want to see you again. Let's meet up here again at five. And you would have to keep that up. You would have to every time you see each other, keep that up. with social media. Now it is like maybe this person you had a fling with or you like or you had a crush on, they know people in your circle that you're cool with. Now they give you get that suggested friend. It's like, wow, there's Kevin. I haven't seen him in 20 years. Wow, he's look, see the picture. Wow, he's looking good. Let me shoot him a let me shoot him a message. Shoot him a DM real quick. Doo -doo -doo -doo. DM go, oh shit. Oh, hmm. yeah, what up? Doo -doo -doo. Nothing, think nothing about it. Oh, let me shoot him a friend request. All right, cool. Say you say you stopped at the one DM, and you know it was like it, maybe five messages went back. Now, but now y'all friends. Now what y'all doing? Y'all fucking friend watching each other page. Oh, mm -hmm. he went to the gym today. Oh damn, she wore that dress out today. Stalkers. Damn, you stalking each other? Like, damn, you, you looking? You you're stalking the page. Damn, she looked good in that famous suit. I've done it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you get what I'm saying? I've done damn, it. Damn, she's looking at you. Damn, you look good in, you know, in that outfit. He's looking good. Oh, what? He's having a bad day today. Oh, she's having a bad day today? Oh, let me shoot the inbox, a DM. That's how it's so much easier. This is how social media, because you, it's easier access to people that you, I can contact anybody that I ever had a fling relationship with just go search them because I know we're in that same group. It's back when, before social media, it was so much harder to do. It's like, I won't see this person for years. Go ahead, Dre. No, I was I was basically going to concur with what you were saying. There was one person that I literally haven't seen in years and I would be around their old way, like just maybe working or something like that. I haven't seen her in years. Soon as I made a Facebook profile, <laughs> somehow that motherfucker pop right up. And the DMs was wild. <laughs> wild. I said, oh, shit, you can't write to the shit. I said, all right. That's when I understood, like, the power of them DMs is like, nah, like, you have to shut it down there. Mm -hmm. You have to say, nah, I'm just here happy. You know, hey, man, I'm just here happily married. <laughs> you got to hit them with the boom. I wasn't married at the time. But, like, when I made my first Facebook profile, that's how it happened. The per I'm, I'm dead serious. I used to be 
when I used to work around the way, I ain't going to lie. I'd be like, damn, you know, I might go to the Chinese store where, where, where the crib used to be at and just be like, damn, I wonder if she around there. Just, you know, I'm riding past it. Let me stop at the Chinese store just to see like, damn, you know, I ain't seen this person in like years, like 10 to 12. Open that Facebook. Boop. That motherfucker right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but see how much easier it makes it for cheating. Like social media is a good thing and it's great. It, it, it makes you you can connect with friends you ain't seen in years. You can see people, but it's also very, very fucking dangerous in the fact that with, as far as relationships goes, just a couple of topics we hit so far, it makes it you're so much accessible to people. Like you are. It's like you see people like, damn, like, yo, I ain't seen this motherfucker since the seventh grade. Damn, wow. Mm -hmm. She's not mad or she yeah. mad, but look at her shit. Where she, oh, she always arguing with a nigga over here. Oh, okay. A dirty nigga. It's a chick. <laughs> is it? But you just look at it. People look at it like it's a chink in the armor. That's how they look at it. That's how, that's how a lot of cheating starts on, on Facebook, that goes back to the oversharing thing. If you're oversharing shit in your about your relationship on there, and people and people can fucking read it like as a uh, or look at it like as a soap opera, mm -hmm. oh, you ju you're just sitting back like an old fucking snake waiting for your time to creep in. You're waiting and you wait and you wait and you wait and you see the chink in your armor. All right, send this, <laughs> send this. But it could be some some simple as a heart on the picture, cute picture. You heart the shit, okay? She sees you hearted. She knows that you looking. Put another one up there. I heart I heart the shit again. This has happened. I just happened to me. Motherfucker's like, damn, she like two of my pictures. She wants the bone. <laughs> yeah, let me. What you think? <laughs> let me let me send. Oh, she commented this time. All right, then put some up there a little more risky. Ooh, she hearted comment, and I got an inbox. Oh, word! Like, let's see where this gonna go. And pfft, little do you know, you seeking that attention, not realizing you got a whole girl at home that probably, you know, what I mean, Realize. that y'all just not realizing this shit. And maybe y'all not friends on Facebook, or she can't see what's going on, or whatever, or Instagram, or whatever. Snapchat is even worse. Snapchat, the shit just deletes after a while. But you fucking building up this whole thing and you just cheating and cheating and, and it don't take nothing to find out you still live around the way. I want to see you. I moved. Exactly. But you get you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Motherfucker. Now, now, now y'all laid up at the, the Howard Johnson some little 24-hour motel real quick. Something that you pay cash with. No credit. No traceable. And you in and I don't out like that, that you know so much. I don't like I know, that you know I, so much. You got to pay so, cash or it's traceable. Yeah, I know so much. <laughs> I, I keep telling y'all. Motherfuckers, no, I was a foul nigga. I'm never going to deny the fact that I was a foul human being. That's one thing you won't get get when you get information from me. Work. Sign yeah, up for overnight work so you don't throw it off. Yeah, I got to go to work today. You probably <laughs> leave the house 2, 3 o'clock. I leave the house 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I can say I'm going to work today. This is just old me saying, but this is but this is how I can get the shit off. Call the I called the fuck out. Now I'm going to work a 14 hour shift on her ass. <laughs> you, what oh, you, like, you actually like bitches, okay? Yeah, I'm just saying you be laid up with all day ordering food to the room. Y'all not leaving that room. You're not leaving the room. Nah, I'm that room get my money's worth. Yeah, that room is psh, all day. You probably hit that motherfucker took a rhino, whatever. You probably hit that motherfucker three or four times a day. Right. Come home. Now you looking at your girl because you done cheated. You looking at her like, hey, I'm going to bed. I, <laughs> I don't. Ugh, that shit is rough, bro. It's rough because that's true. If you let that shit, if you let it, you can't let it get past a certain point, bro. We're, we're all human. We're like that's really what it comes down to. If you let it get past a certain point, it's already gone. We are all human. New always feels like it might be better. It's not that way. You will ruin your life. At the at certain points, you will ruin your life. Mm -hmm. You will ruin your fucking life. I don't want to ruin my own. I don't want to be the cause of my own life ruin. I'd rather my wife cheat on me because at least everything I do from that point on is warranted. But th th no, I don't want her to cheat on me. By the way, no, nah, yeah. you don't want it. But but that speaks to the next John. Increased jealousy. That person on the other side of that. The person on the other side of of the person getting cheated on. Now you see you're watching her f Facebook or Instagram, 
and you see your girl posting the pictures, and you see the same nigga keep hearting this shit. Same nigga keep saying nice pick. <laughs> the same nigga, you know what I mean? Every time she puts something up on there, he's in the fucking comments. The same motherfucker. Nah, fuck him. Because <laughs> if a nigga doing that shit, you, if I'm watching, I don't watch. And like I said, my wife don't post nothing. But if that was the case, I'd do some investigation. I'd do some investigating. Yo, who, uh, who's Sean Brumner? Sean Brumner? How you know him? Yo, he be liking mad, mad posts that you be putting up, yo. A lot of them be, you know, full body pics. But I don't see him liking no pictures of us together. <laughs> right? Uh, oh, that's just my friend from school. Fuck you. What, what school, nigga? Like, what? You start really going in because it's like clearly this nigga got boundary issues, and he worried about what you post. That says something. Hey, yo, now hold on, hold on, hold on real quick. Go that's ahead, no, keep talking. If there is a woman that I'm just cool with, because I'm just cool with women. If you put up pictures of you and your man, I like them shits. You know why? Same, same. I ain't got no, yeah, yo, I love that, yo. Yo, be in love, y'all. <laughs> yep, same here. I, I ain't interested in your girl. I like the picture you and her together. Yep. And be if you kids, love. I ain't liking no pictures of you, Dolo. Sorry. I don't want to even. No, I like yo, them too. Yeah, but I'm saying that, <laughs> but I don't want to fuck them. I'm, I'm keeping it very, very professional. You know what I'm saying? But that, but think about the jealousy that shit brings to the home, Dre. Like, you keep seeing this. Sean Brumner, that's what you call him. You keep seeing this nigga, like you've seen this dude, like yo, and you ask her, and she's like, "What are you worried about it for?" Like he, he just likes my pics. Like no, like see, that's the thing. Talking to you, yeah, like, like again, before social media is like you know, somebody can only look at your girl so long because you're standing there and you like, yo, what the fuck you looking at, or. Mm -hmm. Say your girl look cute because they just bumping into her. Now with this shit is like, yo, do send re friend requests just based off the fucking don't even know them. Just based off the the picture they have posted. You look at your girl like, yo, why you got that picture up as your fucking uh, as your profile pic, man? Take that shit down. Why you ain't got no picture of us together? You know what I'm saying? Why we ain't got no picture? Why why is just you and, and and like you ain't single no more? Like, mm -hmm. show me. Yep, you start you start looking into all that shit like, yo, why ain't you posting? Yeah, like you start <laughs> all this shit start playing on your mind. I'm so glad I'm not young with this generation. I'm so glad, bro. I feel sorry for the younger dudes, and this is advice for the young. Like, I feel for y'all because this is the lifestyle y'all live now. Y'all don't talk to girls. Y'all ain't married. Well, even when y'all talk to girls, it's not let me get it's no let me get your numbers. Yo, what's your gram? Uh whatever. Let me get your gram real quick. Oh, uh, you do TikTok? Let me check your TikToks out. It's all of that. And you go off this picture and, and what you see of her, and then you get with her. You got with her off the picture that you kind of seen in your head, but the image and the lifestyle that y'all both portrayed on social media. That's it. Bullshit. But, yeah, but then when you get together, you like, yo, tone that shit. Down, I liked you because of social media. I don't want everybody liking you because of what I saw on social media. Too bad. That shit is for me now. Meet a bitch at the grocery store. Meet a bitch at school, y'all. Come on, man. Stop this. Stop this meeting. Them. Stop this meeting them. No, nah, meet them outside. See if they breath really stink. See if they feet really stink. <laughs> like, see what these men and women are really about before you fucking uh yo, yo what's your gram? Yo, let's yo, let's. Nah, man, she might be a fucking, she might be one of them New York talking bitches. <laughs> you can't stand one of them New York talking bitches. Back the fuck up. Scarlet. Yeah, talking Back to me, it's Scarlet. Talking to Back. me like a nigga. I don't like uh, that. Ew, you pretty, but you fucking, you a nigga. Fuck out of here. I'll Scarlet. beat you the fuck up in this house. <laughs> it's wrong with New York chick. They, they sexy. They fuck you good. You know what I mean? They That's, talk shit. They, I've they never fuck fucked a New York chick. I'm really turned off by the talk. They talk greasy. <laughs> they talk crazy to me. And I'm like, nah, because if a, if, if a nigga talk to me like that, I'm going to have to beat him the fuck up. I can't beat you the fuck up. Unless your pussy's really good, then I'm just stuck. <laughs> I got to let you talk to me crazy now. <laughs> nah, you talk to a crazy back gripper ass up, choker. Bitch, the fuck you? Oh, no. Fucking them is the different. Fuck, fuck the, what the fuck you talking? What the fuck you talking? Shut See, the fuck like up. That. They like what that the shit. the fuck? You always on some nut shit. Like, shut the fuck up.
Yeah, they ain't. I'm gonna fucking cook some fucking dinner. Get the I fuck like out of here. I like the love on my bitch. Oh, man. I want to kiss on her and shit. See, you, you always acting crazy. Man, shut the fuck up. Man, I ain't, man, wait that shit. You want to hate up? your girl, nigga? Like, the fuck nah, are you talking about? You, you, you want to hate her? I, I don't have that energy no more. At a younger no age, more. I had that energy to snap on a chick. Like, just flip the fuck out on Like, I just flip out. But see, I can't do it now. And that's a shame with these new dudes with the social media. Like, your girl is. Or your dude is posting these pics. It's like, yo, what the fuck? Who is? Oh, I heard this before. Who the fuck is this bitch? Like, I'm like, what? What happened? Mm-hmm. Oh, you gonna post you got a haircut today? <laughs> yeah, how long ago was that, bro? That long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> or, or you know what I mean? I let my beard and I trim this shit up. I take a picture, boop, boop, put it up there. Why the fuck all these girls liking your shit? I'm like, yo, babe, I'm didn't. handsome. Yeah, I'm handsome, but. Real shit, I didn't. I'm hit you with your line that girls always hit me. I didn't hang out with a lot of dudes. Oh, shit. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yo. I didn't hang out with a lot of dudes. They caused too much drama. That was a wild line that girls used to get off back in the day. A wild fucking line, yo. Yeah. Man, girls are too much drama. Bitch, please. You fucking have these niggas that you uh-huh. call, bro. That was a but, wild line. But that's the thing. Like, that's where the jealousy comes in. Maybe they got the, the cool ass dude that they cool with. And like, yo, hold up, like this your bro, but how the fuck you liking your picture in the bikini or the fuck you mean, talk- what the fuck you mean by this? What the fuck he inbox? Yo, why is he inboxing you? It's fucking eleven o'clock at night. No, nah, you don't want nothing. He just nah. he's saying he, it's like yo. No, that's cause for concern. Anybody inboxing your girl, any man inboxing girl is cause for concern. Period. Shit. I'm I'm concerned if I see that and my girl and my my wife's having a conversation with a man. And he's like asking her how her day is and shit like that. Yeah, I'm concerned now. Now I'm going to actually start. Other than that, liking a picture, I don't fucking care about because you can be scrolling mindlessly and be liking shit. That like I do that all the time. Sometimes I'll just like some shit. Yo, you with your mom? Like, that's how I felt today. But an inbox? Mm-hmm. Nah, man. No. You jealous, and, and you know what comes with the jealousy, bro? It comes to fights. And the dumbest thing I see with the fights is, man, I, I I don't understand this shit. I went through this shit. Why are you posting your fights, your public for public to get in on? Why are you posting? I can't stand. Fuck this nigga. This dumbass nigga did this. I fucking why? P- please, exp- you gotta have the answers. I never had the answers. Break so why? Did, I was in that situation. <laughs> I fucking hate him. this nigga. He gonna get the fuck out when he come back. I'm tired of this nigga. I'm about to be single. I'm like, bitch, what, 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 what? I'm at work fuming. Like, I can't wait to get your bitch. I'm gonna move out when I get home. Fuck yep. you. Da-da-da-da. Snapping. Yo, just put underneath that shit. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> Bet. Oh, ain't number. But, ain't number the word to me. Bet. But bro, how many times have you? You just went there for the just to scroll the comments, like. Tell me the most. What? Tell me what you always see when they do the public fights. You know the the one thing you always see. You're going to see on the public fights. You don't know? No. What's that, girl? You so right. I can't believe they did X, Y, and Z. I'd have been left. Mm, better you than me. I don't, I don't know, man. It depends. It's on always who it is. A, it's, it's always somebody. Way. So it's always somebody else validating the other person's bullshit. Basically, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's but that's what they come to Facebook for. That's what they come to social media for is I want to be validated in the way I feel. You could you could cheat on the guy or or a guy who cheats on a girl and say, I don't know why she just won't forgive me. And a motherfucker will come validate what you're saying. Like it's just people doing dumb shit. <laughs> but I'm, I keep going back to how things was because I'm an older dude and I want to get these young cats some some game and shit. Like the younger dude, some game. Like before, your fight with your girl might have went to her best friend, her mom's, and if she had a sister, that's probably the extent of it. Still, and sometimes if she was a good girl and y'all really kept shit in the house, it probably would just go as far as the moms because best friends they your fucking. They shaky. You know what I'm saying? You already don't. I don't think too. I mean, for the most part, if you got a most guy, 
yeah, if you got a good one, you like your girl's best friend. For the most part, a lot of guys and a lot of girls, I say about a good, it's a 50-50 split, don't like their boyfriend or girlfriend's best friend. It's a 50-50 split. Unless you got a, in a good, healthy relationship, then you like, like I li- I love my girl's best friend. I was going to say, me too. Like yeah. a family member. That's a fact. You know, get what I'm saying? Yeah. You my best friend. I love Erica and I love you too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. For, but for the most part, it is some people out there that have the grimy, the grimy friend that they use back in the day. They used to tell the information to, and the girl would just give her bad information, and and it's kind of fucking playing in her head. Now with social media, you post that shit, your friend will the the friend you hate will be under there going ham on the shit. Then that same friend, you will hear talking shit. Not naming you specifically, but just putting out there what you might have done. Putting that shit out there like, bitch, are you talking about our relationship on your page but not naming me? Mm. You, It's like you sitting there fucking fuming. And I feel sorry for the dudes that got to go through that shit now. It's like, damn, it's like everybody knows y'all fighting it, but y'all on this bitch fighting, fighting, going ham on each other. How can you ever come back from that? Leave, because that's her personality, bro. No matter what y'all go through, you fucking can't have kids, and that'll be on social media. You bust nut early, and that, and you have a problem with it, you, that'll be on social media. It'll be a whole bunch of shit that'll be on social media that you don't want. Like, you, you leave. You don't solve that problem. That person has a dependency on social media and it will never go away because most people don't fix things unless a life event happens or they have a gigantic epiphany that affects their life in a big way. People don't change. Bro, I'll be seeing people having public fights on social media. I'll be like, yo, take that. Especially, I see somebody I I care about, I love like, yo, man, take that shit off of here. Like, there's always that call. Yeah, I'll call them. I wouldn't even put underneath the comments. If I got mm-hmm. their number, I'll call them up personally. I'm going to take that shit down. What you mean? Nah, take that shit down. Like, you're not going to be able to... Rec- they, people people don't understand about social... You can't recoup from that shit on social media. That's the thing y'all people don't understand about social media. You put that shit up there, it lives there forever. Even if you delete it, because somebody could screenshot it and repost it themselves. Mm-hmm. Well, most people do. If you say yeah. something and, 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 and like it's something good... Somebody has screenshot it. Just to, just so just so just so yeah, yo, you, you said this. Like I saw it, nigga. You said this. Mm. You know what I mean? It's 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 one of those things, man. <laughs> like just keep people out of your business. I don't give a fuck what it is. That's that's really the moral of the story. Is keep people out your business, protect your protect your peace, protect your relationship, and everything ain't for everybody because everybody ain't got your best interest at heart. That's just it. Nah, because you can say some shit in the heat of the moment of an argument, and you know what I mean? You can get off of like, I didn't mean that shit. Like, I was upset and I said that shit. But when you post that shit on social media, first you felt that shit. Then you typed that shit. You proofread that shit. (laughs) No. No. Then you hit the send. Then you hit the post button. And then you commented under that shit. To reinforce the shit you just said. You can't walk that shit back. You can't walk it back. All you can do at that point is like, I got to own this shit. And I got to show from here on to the end that I'm a better person than this person was. You, That's the thing people don't... Like, I tell motherfuckers now. They think, you shit on me on social media, you better apologize to me on social media. Don't shit on me on social media and try to apologize to me over a text. Don't get your ass up on there. Tag my name in that shit. Tag why you sorry. And then we good. We, sh- 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 all right, I'm good. You apologize on this motherfucker. Nah, I just, man, it's just. Man, I'd rather call. I come from the old school, nigga. Before there was social media, if I had a problem with you, I want to meet you where you at. Not even just the fight, if we got to talk it out. Phone ain't going to do it. Like, I want to talk directly to you. So when the social media came, I'd rather talk to a nigga on the phone. Yo, What's up? If I see something crazy and you say, and I feel like it's about me, I'm gonna hit you personally. I ain't going to put, in, I ain't gonna put nothing underneath your shit. I'm gonna hit you personally, yo. You got a problem with me or something? All right, cool. Let's talk about it. It don't mm-hmm. gotta be, but people don't have that that way of thinking. 
everybody want to you want to be re reactionary reactionary mm -hmm. reaction yo this a, yo this about me yo i fuck you up when i see you mm -hmm. what's typing anything going to do it, it doesn't the funniest ones another funny one i see on there about people arguing publicly well motherfucker you ever seen the videos of dude catch his girl cheat with another nigga he wants to go live yeah that I is Nigga, tell me that's not the most heartbreaking shit to even catch a girl cheating. I love that shit. I love seeing that. I love it. It's the well, most entertaining shit ever. It's entertaining not for real. us. I don't it's, think it's, it's something that is real that you can tell a nigga is like nigga crying. Like he come, like he see and he went and I guess he went the, the empathy, but it's like, yo, nigga, you put this shit on there. Niggas is going to reshare this shit. Oh, you now you go. Yeah, you're going to be the sucker that got cheated on. And you can never, ever, 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 ever take her back and forgive her for that shit. Nope. Or you just record yourself fucking another bitch or something. You got to do some fly <laughs> shit for people to be like, yo, you took her back? Yeah, but I fucked her mom. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do some fly shit to get over that. Social media is crazy right now. Man, listen, man. I just, like, we're going to wrap this shit up. But I just feel for these these younger cats, man, that are that this is their life. Like social media is a part of their life. This is their this is their mall. Mm -hmm. where we used to go to to talk to people. This is their you know their restaurants and everything that these pri their private intimate moments where you went to chill with your girls. This is your life at your house and your job is like it's everything. Every like. So it's it's called that's why it's called social media because you're being so you're socializing with people. The socialize with people before is like you you had to be out and about. You had to be in the area where you're a group of people at parties, or you socialize with your woman in a house, or you socialize with over dinner, or you know what I mean, you're meeting her. You socialize with at the mall, a bar, uh, uh, an event. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just had this conversation where now it's like everything is put on public display. Like, but I think one thing that should, if you can, your relationship with who you ever with, your relationship should stay, should be the one thing that you try to keep private. Mm -hmm. It's okay to put out the good. It's okay to put out, you know, a little bit of good to show people that you're doing good to your relationship. But don't, you know, don't be trying to compare yourself to other people on social media. Don't be oversharing. Don't be cheating. You know what I mean? Don't, you know. Or if you do, be, just be prepared for your shit to crumble. Yeah, don't be jealous over this shit. Don't be having your public fights over this motherfucker, which y'all got privately. Keep that shit that's supposed to be private, private. That's just, it's no different than y'all walking out this side, outside butt naked or half naked with a sign in your neck of your nigga cheating on you and why he cheated on you and the nigga did you fuck it. There's no difference that. You might as well just do that. That's exactly what you're doing when you put so shit on social media. It's the same energy. You know keep, what I'm saying? Keep your thoughts in your head because that's the problem with social media. Your thoughts do not need to get trained. You, you do not need to let everyone know your thoughts. They're not all gold. <laughs> hell, everybody hell, just need to know your thoughts. Hell no, there's some y'all niggas. Everybody ain't Confucius, niggas. Some of y'all niggas is confused. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but you know, what I mean, we're gonna wrap this shit up, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this episode. Y'all can take some of the knowledge we gave y'all and use it in your everyday life. We are out. Peace. All right. <laughs>